So I'm watching part one, and I just got to the part where P. Sang pulls him pulls himself away from the kiss, and he says something I thought it was really really interesting. He's like, "When are you gonna stop doing this?" And all I can think of is exactly what is he talking about? Is he talking about drunk kissing him, or like everything? What like what what are we talking about here? I think it's drunk kissing him. I think it's like every time he gets drunk. He releases his, his inhibitions, and he always ends up kissing Pisang, and I think it always leads him on, or makes him feel something even more than he already does, and I think it gets... Oh, so they've been see being seen together. Like, which, I mean, I guess makes sense. We see that all the time. But, like, people are starting to question if they're more than just friends. And I, I see that. And now he has to answer to it, and he's freaked. Dude, he's literally been with you through everything. Everything. And now you're questioning whether he told people? What exactly are you worried to go and tell them? That you drunk kiss people? Or is there more going on? Or is there more going on here? Like, what are you worried that they're going to tell? Do I think P. Sang needed to, or needed to leave for his mental health? Yes. But this is just mean. Like, literally ghost him. Literally. Like, left him in your trailer. So, like, ghost ghost. And then... Send him a postcard from just somewhere and say, I'll be somewhere on Earth. I just want you to be happy and do all these things so that I can still watch and hear you. But I have to walk away. Like, I get it. I get it. But you really should have just been like, hey, I, I can't keep doing this. And like, if you're going to walk away, tell him you're walking away. Not send him a postcard. But he does admit that he's being too dramatic. But it's just one of those like, damn, that's... It's cruel and unusual punishment. I want to be clear, he actually never responded to you when you asked if he if you stayed there if he would return. So I cannot say that he said that if you didn't follow him that he would still come back. Technically he never said that. So yeah, but like I feel really bad because now you're all sad. It's hard to tell, but this is pure relief. And hugging somebody that you thought you lost. Can you imagine losing, like, doing all this work, right? You're doing all this work and then you come back and think you fixed it. You think you fixed everything because when you left, it seemed all fixed. But then you come back and, like, the person you're doing everything for is still gone. Uh, the person you fell in love with, you are not still in love with. The person that's been with you through everything is gone. Like, he fixed things, but not really. And that has to hit so hard.